going to close up the brackets or just enter and it'll close it up for you. That's a one. But remember, if I if I add numbers, home tab numbers or decimals, add decimals, then you've got this pretty long randomly generated number, right? Now, if I double click on that, it'll do the same formula all the way down. So now we've got these randomly generated numbers all the way down. So if I shuffle the data by these randomly generated numbers, then I should get a random pick on the right hand side. And then I could just see how many I want to include in my random pick. So let's put a table around this so they're connected together. So when I shuffle them, they will shuffle together. So I'm gonna then go to the insert tab, tables, make a table and it's selecting the whole data set, that looks good, okay. So now I can shuffle it by the random shuffle here, A to Z or Z to A. Now, every time I do that, it basically reshuffles it again. The random generator keeps on generating. So, so that's great because it allows me to create more random samples. When I want to actually keep it static, then I'm gonna copy these two and paste it some other place and with the static numbers so it won't keep shuffling but before i do that let's make a couple of these let's say let's make a let's like make like five of these random generating machines right so i've got one here i'm going to copy both of them i'm going to say copy and then uh and then i'll paste right click and paste or i can just say Control c i'm going to paste another one two paste another three so I've got, there's four of them. I'll paste one more over here. So there's five of these random generating machines. I'm gonna make a bunch of skinny columns, selecting column W, holding down control, column T, holding down, I'm holding down control to select each of the columns which are not next to each other, non-adjacent as they say. I'm gonna put my cursor in between them, make them the same skinny size. So now they're the same skinny. And then maybe we can make all these columns skinnier as well, including column Y, Y, Y. And so there we have it. All right, so now let's make, let's make samples of like 20 of these, right? So we're gonna say, I'm on one, so I'm gonna go down to 21. So these are all randomly shuffled. So let's randomly shuffle them again. Notice I have a different number up here than up here because when I shuffle them, they shake it up again. So I'm just gonna shuffle them all, shuffle it up. All right, so now they all have different numbers. And if I just pick the first set, I'm gonna get a random sample because, they, because they've shuffled them all up. So now let's imagine that we want like five samples of 20, right? So then I could copy just 20 of these, right? Go down to 20 of each of these. But if I wanna do that, if I wanna make a random five sample of 20 generator over here, then let's do that. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna make column Z a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna say that uh, we can say this is the count, let's say. And then this is gonna be sample, sample one. And then I, I think it'll copy if I just do one. If I put my cursor on the fill handle, yeah, it does sample two, sample three, sample five, up to five. All right, and then I'm gonna make that a header. So I'm gonna put my cursor over that. Home tab, font group, let's make that black, white. Let's center it. Uh, not that center, this center, all right. And then I'm gonna put this, the, it's gonna go from one, two, and we're gonna make a sample of 20. I'm gonna select those two and just count down to 20. So it's gonna count down to 20. All right, let's center those home tab, uh, alignment and center them. And then I'm just gonna say this equals the, the sample of the first random generator. So that one. So I'm gonna say tab to go to the, to go to the cell to the right equals, and then this is gonna be from the second random generator. So this one tab and then equals, and this is gonna go from the third random generator. So it's gonna be this one and then tab. And this one's gonna be for the fourth random generator, this one tab. And then this one's gonna be from the fifth random generator and enter. 
So they're all different and they're and they're going to shake up. See how they're going to shake up as these shake up, right? As this changes, uh, as I change these and I reshuffle them, let's change it this way, then these are going to change. All right. So then I can copy this down, putting my cursor here and copy it down to just 20. So now it's picking up the top 20 that are going to randomly shuffle every time I shuffle this deck over here. So if I go, so if I go to the right and I shuffle this, we can go shuffle, 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 and shuffle, then then these whole thing this whole thing should shuffle picking the top 20 of each which are randomly selected from the entire set due to the shuffling nature that that's the that's the idea so let's make this like blue uh let's make this blue and bordered home tab font group bordered drop down blue and so that's our generator so now let's now let's imagine that we want how many samples do we want to make? We want to make like let's make like 75 samples. We'll make a decent amount of samples and we can just make them in sets of 5, right? So I can say this is going I'm going to do this again. So this is going to be sample 1. Actually, let's do it one tab over. Let's make a skinny here, a skinny AG, and then I'm going to skip a cell and put it here let's say sample one and i'm going to bring it out to 75. fill handle bringing it out to 75. 75 75 right there and then i'm gonna i'm gonna make that home tab font group and make this uh black and white and let's center it so alignment and center Okay, and then and then uh, I I could just uh, do this a couple ways. I could copy uh, the data over. I can't use I can't use a cell reference because I'm going to shuffle the data each time, right? So what I could do is I could just select all of this data that we have generated, and Control C, copy it, and then I'm going to paste it over here. One, two, three. So I'm going to paste it one, two, three, and then I might also paste the values. I mean, paste the formatting so it gives me that blue. So I can could then paste it, the formatting. And then possibly we want to hide these. I could then say, let's hide these cells so I can see them closer. But I'll do that next time. And then we can reshuffle. See, we have to reshuffle every time. Shuffle again. Uh, boom. And then shuffle the second one.